Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And this is, I guess, a tale of Wubin and the art of innovation. They have got a Kickstarter going to, you know, fund this light. Um, it's a way of kind of gauging buy-in, but also, you know, uh, if you go out on a limb um, designing a new flashlight and it doesn't meet the needs of the users, then, uh, you know, it's a little bit of a risk. So... Uh, this is the new Wubin X2 Pro. Now, I've been using the Wubin X2 for a long time, since uh, I, I first got one. Actually, I've got a couple of them here. It's a great light, a good solid light. It does all the things I need it to do, you know, for a light this size. Um, everything from my glorious favorite moonlight to, um, you know, punching out, I think about 1500 lumens, uh, rechargeable USB-C, real simple design. Um, I have carried these things all over the place. In fact, there's always one in my camper um, because it doesn't roll away. It's a simple um, operation, good memory. I use them, you know, uh, about as hard as any other flashlight, but I got a hold of one of these to play with. Now you can see where Wubin is experimenting in a whole bunch of different spaces. So the X2 Pro does several things. First, it's got the front end. Here's a kind of a comparison of size. It is a little bit bigger, a little longer. They've redesigned some components of it. They needed to. So instead of this one switch that does everything right up front, there are a couple of switches. Uh, there is a, um, a mechanical switch to choose what setting you want. There is a rotation and push button here. And then there is also this removable tail cap. So I could slide this thing off um, and take that off. And you can see if you like the tail switch, you can just slide that thing back on and you've got a tail switch. So let's look at the operation. First of all, you, oh, and I should mention USB-C charging as should be. So let's take a look at the switch and begin there. So I have got, get that to focus there, um, several different options here. The first here is lock, and when it's locked, nothing happens when, it, you, when you push a button. Um, and then you can choose what you want. So I'll start out at the front end, so I'm going to move this up to the front. Now there are four lenses here. I can turn that on by either pushing this button, um, just like that, or I can use, if I've got this optional tap, tactical tail cap, that also turns it on both momentary and it's got a click if I want to leave it on. Okay, so when once this is on, I can rotate this switch here. And you can see there are actually four LEDs. I'm down to the, just the one there. Now I've hit the bottom, turn them on as I move across, and that allows you to move essentially from spot to flood. Um, it uh, is very easy to turn this on and off and to rotate this. I'm not sure, you know, in the far end how, how the feel will be. Um, and you noticed I went right away to full on just by double tapping that and off. Now let's go to the second setting here. So I can drop this down. This turns on this side floodlight. So now I have some options here. First, this rotates a little bit. I believe about 20 degrees inside here. It's not a lot, but you can see that if it's sitting down, that is enough to change the angle uh, to something a little bit more useful. It sits in there flush, just like that. Now I can uh, rotate my wheel here to adjust the brightness till I hit the top. That's one way. Another thing is if I hold this in, it switches to a colored LED here. And then I don't get any brightness settings, but I can toggle through uh, a handful of other settings by double clicking. So I can get a strobe. Notice this is actually doing kind of the police blue and red. I can do it again. Now it's doing red and green. Now it's actually doing a red and a yellow. And now it's back just to a red. So that's possible. I can hold that in to switch to the other side. And now I've got this 
this going again. And then, of course, I can um, lock it manually. Uh, what else? Well, this has got a rail system as well as a, the pocket clip, so you can adjust this or, or set this up to uh, work as a headlamp on top of a helmet. Um, so it uses a compatible slide there with a lock mechanism. Um, on the back end, well, to take this thing off, all you do is slide it sideways and it pops right off. You can see what this looks like without that. And then let's go inside. So there's a release here. It's a pretty easy release. Um, inside, there are two rechargeable batteries. The ones that came with this are these 14500 3.7 volt ones. So there's a lot of voltage here. However, uh, apparently you can run this off of a single AA. Let me grab one and try it. So here is a single Here's a single AA. I'll drop that in, um, close this down, and we'll see what works here. Whoops, I've got it locked. Got to know how to use this stuff. There we go. Look at that. What if I go to the front end? So I am running this off of a... Uh, single double a battery in fact it's not even a very good one it's one of these energizer uh, eco advanced recycle batteries i'm trying to use these things up this one expires in a few years um i don't know if it works in that side i'll see should it, yep does either side but anyway so there it is this is the wubin x2 pro that there is a um, uh, kickstarter going for that hopefully will bring this to market. Not sure of the price yet, but if it's, um, these are actually on sale now, I believe, these this, the traditional X2, but it's just a great solid light. Love it. I'm glad that they're innovating here and really pushing this in as many directions as possible for a small light. There it is. And with that, Doc out.